Go. Okay, the oscilloscope is a device designed to help us analyze circuits, especially ones with alternating current. So right now we're just going to hook up this simple circuit that's on a circuit box to the oscilloscope to show you exactly how it works. First of all, we need a function generator. It generates a signal for the circuit, so we'll hook it up. Oh, right. This is an special connector which takes a coaxial input and splits it into two single outputs so that we can actually hook it up to our circuit. Now, the oscilloscope has, has two inputs that you can analyze two different things at once. So, I'm going to hook up both of them so that you can see two things at once. Okay, so let's turn everything on. I'll choose a sine wave at oh, 7.9, 79 kilohertz. Actually, that's a lot. Okay, yeah, 27. Now it takes a little while to boot. Okay, so this is the display of the oscilloscope. In the mid central area, it displays the waveform. And then uh, around the edges, it shows you options and different information. Like right here, it tells you the scale of each channel. But the most important thing to remember at first is to use the auto set button. You'll find it in the top right. This will tell the oscilloscope to automatically find what it believes is the best way to display the waveform. So right now you can see that it shows both waveforms. One of this is actually really noisy, and the other one is nice and smooth. Now there's a lot of different adjustments you can make if you think AutoSet hasn't done a good job. First of all, you can change the positions of the waveforms. You can shift them up and down, or you can shift them left and right. Now this can be useful if you want to say, make the two waveforms coincide so that you want to compare them but right now the second one isn't very interesting so that won't really help. You can also zoom in and zoom out. If you do this it'll actually zoom vertically. Or if you do this it'll zoom horizontally. So you can change your scale to examine to see more of the picture or to examine something in greater detail. Now one thing it also the oscilloscope will do for you is to show you the numerical data, the qual quantitative. So in order to find this, you press the acquire button. I mean the measure button. Now you see it's displayed various characteristics about both waves. If you click on the button, you can actually change what to display like this case it tells you the maximum voltage that's reached you have tons of options like the frequency or the period the mean voltage the average one that means or the peak to peak the difference between the two and you can also say for channel one or channel two now the acquire things is actually changes how the signal is displayed in this case, since this thing is so noisy, we'll take an average to make it much more smooth. That means it'll discard or it'll average together 128 different waves, subsequent waveforms, or samples actually, so that all your extraneous noise will be ignored. But you can also change the number of samples, the averages that it takes. So the less you average, the more noise will still remain. So let's go back to the regular mode. Mm -hmm. Now the cursor, when you press the cursor mode, if you switch the source to one of the channels, then you can have a voltage 
or time cursor. Now voltage cursor will let you put a horizontal bar where you want to analyze certain things. This usually actually isn't that useful. But the time will give you a cursor that will measure something horizontally. So if you wanted to see, let's say, exactly the time between peaks, you could line up your bars by them and then this delta here will tell you exactly the difference between the two cursors. And that's it.